G'day, Coach Sean Bowes here in Sydney, Australia. And today I want to give you three tips that you can easily implement on your own to make your running more technically proficient. Number one, we're going to work on hand movement. Number two, we're going to work on leg movement, obviously. And number three, we're going to work on body posture, hand movement. I talk about this because when we're running on our own, it's easy to kind of understand what your own arms are doing because one, you can see them, and two, you've got that feeling in your hands so you know what's going on. You don't really need a camera or, or a coach watching you in order to help you correct what you might be doing wrong. So the best way to think about running is everything has to be even. So left to right, top to bottom, front to back. And the best thing to do with your hands is to make sure they're doing the same thing on either side. So put simply, we're running like this. I know personally I used to have a problem where I would throw this hand out like this and I can show you some still shot photos of that. What I worked out was that for every little bit of extra this hand was coming out over here compared to this, that had to be getting paid back down in the bottom half of my body and out into this leg whereby I was getting sore calves and hips and ITV and all the rest of it. So really simple. Just make sure you're doing the same thing with both hands. And since you can see them, it's really easy to implement. Try to bring your hands up to the same height on both sides. And you can even practice this, I don't know, when you're at home, standing around, or in the lift at work, going up, maybe when you're on your own. Um, yeah, you can practice this. And being more specific in your actual hands, uh, so you don't get into a habit like I was doing of like kind of pushing this up and throwing this hand out like that. Always try to make the same position with your hands. So I do a light fist, my fingers tap down into my palms and I just make a little circle on top and that keeps me going. And whenever I'm getting tired and I feel like I wanna throw this hand out so I can really drive home, I always just recalibrate, make that circle and then I'm back to normal and running evenly. Right, now with the legs, really easy stuff to implement. I think a lot of runners, particularly when they're trying to run fast or hard, they think too much about pushing off the ground and really driving like a sprinter. But as distance runners, we need to focus more on leg turnover. Think about yourself sitting on a unicycle and your legs making a circular motion. So if you're really controlling it from the top and it's gonna make a perfect circle on both legs from the top. So just say this is one stride, comes through, and the bottom of your foot cuts through the halfway point of your calf. So there, there. And the same on the other leg. So it would be boom, boom. And that is like with the hands coming to the same height each time, making sure each foot goes through at the same point on your calves that means you're gonna be even, so you're gonna be running much straighter. Okay, the third point alludes to the second point in that we want to run with body position that's nice and upright, okay? So you don't wanna get in the habit of really running your hardest and leaning forward, pushing off the ground. You, instead, you wanna be up nice and high with your shoulders loose, so your arms going like that, working your legs from the top, so everything's running nice and straight. So you go through this position, boom, boom. So we got the hands, the feet, and the body. And the take home points are, make sure your hands are doing the same thing on either side and coming to the same height. Make sure your legs are doing the same thing in terms of working it from the top and legs coming through at the same height, feet coming through at the same height, rather, and your body up nice and straight with your shoulders loose, and there you go. Happy days. Those three things will help you before you even get a coach, get a video analysis, or even think about the 180 strides a minute thing. Just implement those things, and you'll be running much better. I guarantee it.